Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's Spur video. Go to have a look at the weather. It's day 14 days for today's Spur video. Day 10 will take us to the 24th of December. Guess what day that is? And we'll be able to set the set down beyond that with the Accenture FS and ECM Ensembles because they run around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at the CFSB2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. And that gets us well into uh, January. I shall get on that for you in a moment, just to say that the first video today was our 6M UK weather forecast. We've also released the detailed European outlook, and there's a Christmas update penciled in for tonight as well. So please like, share, and subscribe on all of today's videos and content. And thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. We're very, very, very late this afternoon with this 10 to 14 day. I've been having a nice Christmas lunch with friends. After earlier appointments, so it's been a busy old day for, for Gab today. So I should just crack on with your 10 to 14 down and get through it as quickly as possible, if that's all right with everyone. So starting with central in temperature, we're currently sitting at 4.8. That is uh, 0 0.3 degrees above 61 to 99 average, as we are now slightly above average. That's provisional to the 13th of December. That will continue to rise over the coming days. These are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles. When it comes to the red line, is the 30 year upper air temperature average for Northampton local to me today? And we're currently around to slightly below average with the upper air temperature, but they'll be lifting up through the end of the week, the weekend, and into the beginning of next week, becoming quite mild and then dropping away through the course of next week, potentially becoming quite cold as we go into the Christmas period. But again, we do see a lot of scatter bear precipitation wise, lots of dry weather to come over the next few days. But from around Around the uh, early part of next week onwards through Christmas and up towards New Year, we have got plenty of precipitation spikes telling us that there is going to be more unsettled weather to come. Snow row for Northampton is looking a little bit encouraging, I have to say there. Around the 20th, 22nd of December, quite a few snow spikes. Nothing happening before that. And um, there are a few actually into Christmas, but then again, very little as we head on towards the uh, new year. Temperature anomalies from the 14th, 22nd of December, above average. Precipitation anomalies from the 14th, 22nd of December. They're coming out wetter than average in the north, driving average in the south. I expect these uh, anomaly charts to start trending wetter, if anything, in the next few days. The latest wind from that from Earth, no school dot net shows that high pressure is building up from the southwest and taking control of the weather, bringing quite a lot of dry weather in with it. Okay, let's go through the chart days. But it's all going to be the midnight uh, runs of the month. You will see the 12s there for the GFS anyway for our next Christmas uh, update, our next Christmas installment. So anyway, this is the midnight uh, UK Met for Sunday. Bring up this very mild southwesterly wind, high pressure south, low pressure to the north, turning increasingly unsettled through next week. High pressure breaks, turns cooler as well. Winds in from the west northwest, but the main thing is that wind is strengthening there. So by next Thursday, uh, big night next Thursday, actually starting to look rather stormy there to the north of Scotland with that area of low. Icon again with the high pressure dominating from the south. Through the course of the uh, early part of next week, declines away, both turns more unsettled and potentially very unsettled by next Thursday. Wet and windy, tight packed ice, ice bars, indicating gale force winds and heavy rain pushing from northwest to south. Things for GFS midnight run again, high pressure south, low pressure north, bringing up that mild southwesterly as we go through the weekend into the open of next week. Then we go into a cooler and showery west to northwesterly. And then it turns in, um, increasingly unsettled and potentially stormy through to the end of next week. This low pressure dies into the North Sea, brings a gale or even severe gale force, uh, wet northwesterly wind. So um, that will bring colder air from the, from the north, of course, as well. Showers turning wintry. But the main issue with that is that we have um, severe gales there. And then uh, Evil Christie, 23rd of December, low pressure moves off to Denmark and we pull in a cold northerly. However, that doesn't last very long, but Christmas Eve itself actually looks quite cold with those northerly winds. And it's not long before low pressure coming back in for Christmas Day, bringing outbreaks of rain. Possibly that's coming to cold air. It may turn uh, winter on its leading edge if it was to come off. Have to wait and see 
uh, closer to the time frame. Then we go to the low, no man's land between Christmas and New Year, looking generally mild, wet and windy, low pressure in from off the Atlantic, the GFS 6 set, again, same idea, really high pressure south, low pressure north, drawing up those uh, southwesterly winds through the weekend into beginning of next week. Then we're into cooler, showering conditions into the middle of next week, and then potentially quite stormy later next week with this deep blow from uh, from northern Scotland transferring into Scandinavia. Brings in a colder northwesterly and it could bring in some severe gales as well. Heading up towards Christmas, not as much of a northwesterly to northerly with the GFS 6 set. So it's chilly, yes, but not overly cold, generally keeping wind in for west. That's Christmas Day, looking very unsettled with this GFS run, low pressure being wet and windy, and also milder conditions in from the west and from the southwest. And then between Christmas and New Year, we turn drier and colder under that ridge of high pressure. Gets us to the 30th of December, by which time the Atlantic and the areas of low pressure are coming back in. Yet again, is anything going to slow down and stop the Atlantic this year? If you enjoyed the video, please you like, share, subscribe. If you show for doing that, why not drop a comment? And so, what you think about this and all that video, don't get to your friends back down as well. If you thank so show for, for doing that, we need to put on only around 50 to 55 subscribers to get to a 17.5k could give us a sub and tell your friends and family to, to subscribe that would be amazing and it would be incredible thank you so much okay gm again bring up those southwest winds for sunday and then into the early part of next week we find low pressure deepening in the atlantic so potentially quite stormy by the time we get through to the end of next week and pretty cold as well with showers turning wintry particularly so in the north no northerly with the gm and instead we just keep low pressure coming from off the atlantic so a little bit colder into the north not that cold in the south and staying unsettled and then the ecm looks like that once again high pressure south low pressure north drags up that southwest wind on sunday then we flatten off the ridge of the early part of next week we turn increasingly unsettled and cooler potentially quite Stormy to second half of next week and colder with winds swinging into the north there at the end of next week. You get a proper push of northerly winds, turning showers winchy in the north. It's not long though before winds are backing into the west again and milder air is returning from off the Atlantic by Christmas Eve. This is how the precipitation forecast, uh, the precipitation type forecast looks from Fletcher. Dot com based on that ECM midnight road. Not much going on uh, for the next day or so, but some wet weather into the weekend into the far uh, north and northwest of the country. And then through the early part of next week, turn very wet down in the south for a while. That gets out of the way, and we're left with those chilly uh, northerly winds. They bring snow showers into the north, wintry showers even down into more southern regions as we approach Christmas. Well, we've got another low shipping through there, bringing rain to the south, but some snow to the north on the eve of Christmas Eve finishing up though turning mostly back to rain by Christmas Eve itself. These are the options on the table within the ECM Ensemble Day Board 18 back from the Iceland Met from the Icelandic Met Office gets us to Christmas Eve. 15 minutes of the ECM ensembles with low pressure north, high pressure to south and we're bringing in those west winds. Uh, 15 with low pressure again to the north, high pressure to the southwest winds again coming from a uh, westerly direction. We have got eight with low pressure again to the north, and we bring in those uh, westerly winds. We have got another eight with low pressure, a little bit more towards the northeast, unsettled, a little bit cooler with that winds from more of a northwest northwesterly direction. And then we've got five with low pressure to the north, high pressure over and to the south of the country. And winds again coming in from west southwest direction. It looks Atlantic driven, but Chris will see there, and most of the options are not. Cold. In two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. It gets us to 29th of December. 51 out of 50 members of the ECM ensembles, all of them, with low pressure to the north, high pressure to the south, and winds remaining from that uh, westerly direction. So staying overall uh, rather mild there as we approach the new year. CFSB to finally be the 500 millibar. Height anomalies break down into week periods. The first week period takes on the 14th, 20th of December. The next week will have low pressure to the north, high pressure to the south. Winds again will be coming in from a westerly direction. Week two 
is going to be the 21st to 27th of December. Again, lots of low pressure to the north, high pressure to the south. Winds remain from a mild westerly direction over Christmas. Week 3 will be the 28th of September, 3rd of January. Again, low pressure to the north, high pressure around Spain. That keeps the wind in from the west, so that's mild into the new year. And then finally, week 4 will be the 4th of the 10th of January. Low pressure perhaps transferring a little bit further eastward, but still overall centred to our west. And with the high pressure down towards Spain, we probably still continue to bring in the wind from the west. So unsettled and mild there as we go into week 4. And we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please give you a like, share, subscribe. Make sure you show everyone for doing that. Why not drop a comment as to know what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't forget to tell friends about Gareth's weather vids. Make sure you show everyone for doing that. We've got the next sort of Chris account. I think we're up to update number 16 now. Um, or maybe it's 15, 16. I don't know. I've lost count. Um, <laughs> but anyway, next installment of the Chris account down is coming up for you um, this evening. Probably around 7-ish. Half 7-ish maybe. And then tomorrow I'm going to 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. I want to do some Christmas shopping tomorrow, so expect another pretty late 10 to 14 day. Not sure I have time for JMA Friday or not tomorrow, so just watch your space. Keep checking back to the channel for more. And there'll be no Friday night live stream this week either. It's a busy time of year, big gap. You know, I've got to do Christmas stuff like everybody else. I hope that's okay for everybody, and thank you so much for uh, understanding. Okay, so uh, let's sort of Christmas countdown on the way a little bit later on. You enjoy the rest of your Thursday afternoon slash now evening. And for this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.